tour of the city. My hair looks wild. But let's first see how Clippy handles these cobblestone streets. Cobblestone streets did us really fucking dirty. We just had a big ass bump and dropped the microwave. And the microwave shattered in the back of the van. Yay! Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. This is the aftermath. <laughs> what the fuck? Ugh. Destruction. Microwave. Seen some better days. After cleaning up the microwave disaster, we walked through the streets of Philly, taking in America's sights. We felt like great Americans really experiencing America's history. So there's the Liberty Bell ringing, right? I think. I don't think they still ring Liberty Bell. Oh, really? No. Oh. It's cracked, Bay. Did you read that on your self-guided tour? No, I'm pretty sure that? I learned that in like middle school or something. Wow, there's look at history. you. Pulling middle school knowledge out. It's in there somewhere. Yeah. Well, we're here and we're really trying to learn ourselves. We're not much for history, we're more nature rather than history. But the East Coast is a lot of really old stuff. So yep. you gotta check it out while you're here. You got to. So half a day in Philly. We also saw some crazy looking doors that lead to some corridors. If anyone knows what they are, let us know. This was Betsy Ross's house, where she sewed the first American flag. This was Elfrith's Alley, the, the nation's oldest residential street, which is actually still occupied by residents. Here we are at Christchurch, where the founders used to worship. 
the Colonial United States Post Office, the oldest one that is still in operation. How cool is that? Benjamin Franklin's house was once here. How do you feel about it, babe? That's just some really old bricks. Old bricks? Bricks on the glass. Where Ben was. He's a little bit of a hoarder. <laughs> he had a lot of storage. A lot of, a lot of storage. <laughs> Wood storage, cold Wood storage, storage, regular storage. storage. <laughs> Printers Hall, where the First Continental Congress met to discuss their grievances with Britain. They were grieved. So we cleaned up the microwave debris. And now we need to get a new microwave and find a way to strap it in. A little more secure. A little more secure, but you know, just another day in van life. And a lot worse could have happened, so it's not that bad. No one was hurt. It was just a microwave. Dog reach broke. Hmm. <laughs> Drama much. <laughs> what do we get? Cheese steak. Philly? Cheese steak. It's huge. I'm glad we only got one. <laughs> and we're gonna figure out how to strap it in this time. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it would stay. We made it like a month all the way across the country. No problems, but Philadelphia. Nope. Stand a chance. So here's our new baby. We got 0.7 cubic feet, 700 watts, little guy. That's what we had before. Hopefully, this one fits. I'm sure it's like about the same size. Yeah. So. Let's get some straps oh, now. Yeah, I forgot how to strap it. <laughs> you think that one will work? Maybe. Just a bungee cord, strap across the front of the microwave. Seems like an easy fix for right now, even mm -hmm. though it's maybe not super fancy. We ain't fancy. Aesthetically pre pleasing. We functional here. Our new microwave now. Unfortunately necessary. <laughs> See if she fits. It was the only one that was the right size at Home Depot, so. <laughs> she better fit. Smallest one we got. Yep. She fits. Kind of. It's on top of the cord. Why is it not pushing back farther on the right? Because it has this little stub on it that I cut off on the other one. Oh. Uh, there is this little gray thing. Can you cut that off? Yeah, but I need a knife or something. We have knives. Let's see if a knife will do it. I need a saw, but I don't have a knife to do it. Yeah, that little nub. It's probably for safety reasons, but. Oh, this looks really safe. Unplug it first, please. The inverter's off, it's basically unplugged. Okay. Just get it on video camera if I cut off my fingers or electric myself. I'll just get it on, you know, it's good content for the tube. There we go. That was actually not that challenging. A little anticlimactic. It was. Ah, no! <laughs> My finger, no! <laughs> the 
better? Yeah, looks better. The bungee cord now. Crucial. Do you think that'll stay? Yeah, that'll hold it. I think it's good. And then if you want to use it, you just go, yeah. Microwave. Gotta put the inside together. So I had the brilliant idea coming to a swamp. National <laughs> Swamp Land. Like, where can we go? Like, you know, relax. We need to film a little van tour. Get a little shade. Bugs! <laughs> There's so many fucking bugs. Yeah. And I just can't even handle it. She's not a fan of bugs? No. It doesn't know. No. We don't have any bug spray on either. That was like our backs. We're like, oh, it's just a quick walk. I don't want to lather myself in bug spray. It's true. But maybe that would have been the right call. Oh, look, we're in a little hut. These grass are very manly. Well, it's because they're mine. Yeah. Here, I'll show you guys. This is our national swamp. Swamp of the Americas. I just made that up, but we're in New Jersey. About to go have dinner with a friend. And we needed to film some content. And so I was like, what would be cooler? Like, not in a city, like, and I saw this green spot on the map and it was National Swampland. And it said wildlife refuge. The only wildlife I've seen are bugs, which don't count. They don't need refuge. <laughs> we need to be refuging bugs. <laughs> Seriously.